Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Engine's Place. Uh, House of Gog has sent me this crazy piece and this is the welcome to the machine. Uh, let me give you guys the certificate or show you guys a certificate of authenticity. Sorry. Um, and then to give you also the close-up video, some review as well on my side. So in my understanding, this is actually a early production piece. So... I was glad that nothing happened to this and it was absolutely surprising um, because I thought it was some package but then when I opened oh it's a house of Gog uh, so I was surprised and even amazed because this piece is actually quite heavy heavy and crazy looking as well so I my wife she says it looks very ugly um, I think that's the point that's what makes this piece really good uh, but either way, I'm so excited to show you guys a close-up of this and give you my thoughts as well. So, let's get started. Let's start the close-up video. And let's start with... I do not know if this is considered the base, but... To be honest, this is my favorite part of the statue, which is this one. Look at that. This is so wicked. Look at this. The art of this one is very phenomenal. I love it. Um, I hope I capture it properly. Um, and I think I will be doing some final photography of this as well. I will light this properly, do a spotlight video as well, because I really want to emphasize uh, and show you guys what is in my head when I see this kind of stuff. It just looks awesome. Look at that. Let me go closer. I really want you guys to see this. There. Look how crazy detailed that is. It's very impressive. There's some textures in here as well. Um, and this one here. This is like a scale. I do wish there's much more lining. Uh, I would say like some lines. I think there are some textured lines here. I do wish there's more there. Um, but anyway, this is at the back. But when you come go to the other side again, there's this, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> Look at that. Look at these details. Come on. Uh, I do wish the, the yellow part goes like very further and not just create a, ye a green, yellow, orange kind of layer. But I do wish something like it, it somehow like creeps in, the yellow creeps in there, goes there. Or maybe that's supposed to be the, the idea, but I think there's not that, that much yellow. The same also here. I would, would prefer that there's some kind of yellow going through there, like some kind of veins or something. I don't know. That's just for me what, I, what is in my head. Uh, and then once again, the details of this. Look at that. I'm really loving it. Um, if you guys have seen the uh, the movie from um, Robin Williams uh, where he uh, went to get his wife in purgatory or something and there's this there's this scene where there's like dead people in the in the water or something or somewhere there um, and I, this is what I can imagine to that look at this so let's go to the front part um to be honest there's very few parts of this piece which is the i do not know if this is fingers or hands this one there's also this one and there's also this head and the body um and then the body i would say this is my least favorite it does look good um because of the colors but when i uh, it, it looks good actually when i'm from afar but when I get closer, the colors seem so... Uh, I, I don't know. I think you will really see the, the brushes. I, I think this is also because of the, the art of Skinner. It's always like this. But based from the other, uh, how it's colored, it's kind of different. And this one really looks like cartoony, to be honest, if you get closer. If you look at it from afar, it actually quite looks good. If you see that there... But if you get closer, when you see how it's done, I guess paint-wise, it is okay. But I, like I said, I'm not that fav. Uh, this is not my favorite part. I would say, there. Look at this. 
it does have a very amazing uh, sculpture to be honest there's textures here like this like that um, and then how the the brush strokes are done really good but again it's kind of looking cartoony but either way the details of the sculpt is pretty good look at this i hope you can see the details also in the front part part of the orange color area is the stairs and i would say this is like my second favorite part of the piece to be honest because look at the details of this i hope you can see look at the details of the stairs and this is where this monster uh newly created monster is um is placed or i don't know if it's standing or it's slouching there <laughs> but the details of the stairs is pretty awesome look at that there's actually a lot a lot of texture there this one and it's beautifully painted i love it and it, this is where this guy is sitting and then to go further is the this monster maker or kind of dude look at that i actually love the eyes i really do but i do wish uh, i hope i can try to focus this uh, i like that this eyes or eyeballs i would say are protruding but I do wish there are some like white parts in the side just to give like um, like the ones in the in front there's like I don't know their veins or something but it would have been better if there's like white in the side as well. Anyway that's su super awesome. I'm super excited to put this in a darker light with like a blue or a green light in a darker room because I think this kind of like glows i it, this is not supposed to glow but the color it would be different it would be like a negative and that's awesome um anyway uh it is also it's pretty good the paint also uh, for this one so this one it does not look too cartoony uh this part i do not know why i just find that the this guy uh in front the paint job here feels too cartoony but I don't know why I feel it differently for this one. More or less how it's applied is supposedly be the same. But I don't know why. Here for me it's it's okay. There's really nothing I can say bad or anything to this part. It just works. The same as the other um, House of Gog pieces. The details are pretty awesome. I guess the line works. The, the shadow and highlights of this really works for the arm. And maybe not for this guy. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but either way, it looks awesome. It has a very beautiful detail. It's very skinner. And I love that. And in here, I kind of like this like subtle white. I do. And it becomes a bit more, I guess, brighter here or more clear, as you can see. Um, there is white there in the paint job. And then it's still quite subtle. There's still a lot more green. But, but when you go up, it become much more brighter white, I would say. And that's awesome. I do wish it also something like that in the hands. Where here is like a bit subtle and then here it becomes the really brighter. I think that would look awesome. Um, but yeah, that's just nitpicking for me. <laughs> uh, like I said, the, so the yellow does come up here. Uh, this is what I meant. I didn't saw it because it was, I think, at the back or some part. But I do wish it's a bit much more clear yellow going up. And also, again, from the back. So the back part has this very intricate detail. Look at that. Pretty awesome. I do love this. It has a very good texture and everything. Look at this. Let me try to get in closer. The detail is pretty awesome. I love the different shades of green. I'm not so sure I captured it properly, but there's actually different shades of green here. Really good. And yeah, uh, again, the white part is here. I do wish it goes more here, but that would just be nitpicking for me. Um, and I love how the front part goes because like I said, it, the, the white is a bit subtle. But then the front part here, the, the, the eyes and everything somehow is like brightened up or with the colors. And then I do wish the teeth also is brighter. Uh, I think that would be 
my preferred one like it's whiter so that you can really see the teeth there um i still prefer there's like an orange tip colored uh in there uh but at least this part would be i would say brighter either way he looks awesome look at that i really wish to put this bad boy like darker color i think i had taken some photos of it with a darker color and it looks awesome really beautiful so there you go let me just give you one more look there a spin of this piece there like that and a close-up look of my favorite part look at this my goodness that looks good <laughs> look at that Woo! those are my thoughts on this piece uh, and i will be making also more videos of this and photos uh when i come back for vacation i guess more or less like two weeks later or three weeks later um because i'm really excited to take like a proper fine art photography of this one because i know this will 100 percent look amazing uh when i put it in the proper lighting uh right now i just gave you this how do i say white light to really see some of the colors but when i put this in the proper lighting do a fine art photography for this one this would look amazing uh so yeah i hope you like the video i hope you um also check out those points that i i pointed out in this piece if you like it that's amazing if you don't uh, i think that's okay uh, i think like i said this is not for everyone this piece is somehow like like if you are that crazy <laughs> anyway um yeah i hope you like the video and if you do click the thumbs up and help me share with everyone and also help uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet so that you'll see more videos like this and see you in the next video.